Hello everyone and welcome back to another Honest Review by the Joy of Pro Wrestling Network. I'm your host Mark Ross and tonight we are discussing Dynamite's rematch between Hangman Adam Page and Brian Danielson. Uh, their last match, uh, the first match between the two of them at Winter is Coming was last month. It went to a 60 minute time limit. Um, so a draw, neither wrestler came out on top. Uh, Brian Danielson, um, two of his uh, biggest matches that he has had in AEW have went to uh, time limit draws. So um, that's what a lot of people are expecting out of this match. Um, <clears throat> and since it went to a 60 minute time limit draw, uh, Brian Danielson has requested that there be ringside judges. Um, so I was curious to, I was wondering who all week who would be the judge or the judges of this match tonight. And um, I was surely thinking that they would get, um, you know, somebody like Steamboat or Ric Flair or, uh, you know, a classic wrestler like one of them guys uh, out there calling the match, especially it being on TBS, um, being the first wrestling show on TBS in quite a while. Uh, Chris Jericho later in the event said that um, he had last wrestled wrestled on TBS in April of 1999 on Thunder and said he lost lost to Booker T and Booker T cheated <laughs> so uh, that was a pretty funny moment in the night but um, on to uh, the match uh, kicks off the show once again the main event is right at the beginning of the show um, so they don't waste any time there so the judges chosen were Mark Henry, Jerry Lynn, and The Big Show. Um, both Mark Henry and The Big Show, I know, um, work for AEW, uh, should probably have uh, standing contracts with AEW. Uh, I wasn't sure that Jerry Lynn worked for them or not. Um, so if he does, someone let me know and put that in the comments. But... Um, yeah, I didn't look that up to see if he did or not. But um, so Brian Danielson coming into this match uh, is uh, 13, 0, and 2. Uh, the two being the two draws um, that uh, he, you know, matches that, big matches that he had that he uh, failed to uh, get the job done pretty much. So uh, he's. He's coming into this, you know, with a lot to prove still in AEW. Um, you know, in my eyes, he's the greatest wrestler in the world, but, you know, I, he still has to prove it to everybody else there, you know. Um, but uh, Adam Page's record is uh, 13 wins, one loss, and one draw. And uh, his one draw being against, of course, against Brian Danielson at Winter is coming. Um, the match starts out, you know, there's a 60 minute time limit, you know, that's why the judges are there. Uh, back to the judges. Um, I guess I, I'm down with, you know, Big Show and Mark Henry being out there. Uh, Jerry Lynn was awesome, you know, getting to see him on TV again, getting some time and, uh, you know, and he kind of wrestled you know, their style out there that they're doing tonight, you know, uh, the Brian Danielson, uh, style. And even, you can even say the hangman page style of wrestling. Um, but, uh, two big, big guys out there calling a, you know, a, a match like this. So that's kind of interesting. But, uh, anyway, um, the match starts and, uh, you know, Brian Danielson's, he's, He's playing around in the ring trying to buy some time, you know, because, uh, you know, this is, it, you know, this is the game that he's been, <clears throat> that he, he can, he seems to be able to play against 
Hangman Page. He kind of has it. Kind of has an effect on him. Um, uh, he, Brian Danielson, you know, kind of like has him by the strings a lot. I feel um, maybe that's just you know Adam Page's character, or you know, but uh, anyhow, you know, Brian Danielson's uh, killing time. You know, he's kind of messing around uh doing his you know jumping jacks or whatever and he slides out of the ring and kind of taunts the crowd a little bit walks around the ring gets back in the ring kills some more time and you know this way he can he can dictate dictate the pace of the match you know on his own you know at his pace and you know adam page will have to uh work at his speed um so Brian Danielson's, you know, not in too big of a hurry. Um, right off the bat, I felt like, you know, uh, he was going to, you know, control the match. And uh, he did for the most part. It, it was uh, it was a fair share, but, um, you know, last time... Uh, in the last video, I mentioned that um, in order for Hangman to win the last match, you know, he needed to get Daniel Bryan outside of the ring. Uh, he doesn't need to out-wrestle him inside the ring because he's going to lose. And I think he realized that tonight, and uh, he took the, he, you know, he took the match outside of the ring um, in a matter of minutes. Uh, he attempted a moonsault, and uh, he missed the moonsault, but he was able to uh, power bomb Daniel Bryan on the apron, and that was a pretty wicked power bomb. So the match goes back in the ring, but uh, not for long, as uh, Daniel Bryan or Bryan Danielson rolls out of the ring, and Hangman Page uh, attempts a suicide dive on him on the outside. And Daniel Bryan catches him and uh, throws him face first into the railing. Uh, that's uh, his uh, chance to take back control of the match because um, Hangman Page has had the match for the past few minutes of of the affair. Um, so uh, Daniel Bryan, you know, he's uh, he's starting to work Adam Page on the outside, and he's doing his move where he's got him. On the other side of the ring post and ramming him, uh, ramming his shoulder into the uh, ring post. And uh, while he was in the ring, he was working his shoulders and stuff, uh, you know, to uh, <clears throat> make sure that Hangman can't hit that big uh, lariat at the end. That buckshot lariat, you know, doesn't want to get hit with that. Uh, you know, it could knock him out or, you know, uh, put him on his ass and he doesn't need that so uh <clears throat> also uh <clears throat> jr he's back in the booth uh calling the match and uh he did a pretty decent job out there tonight uh they were put in the uh, each one of them they were really doing a good job of putting the uh buckshot lariat over uh you know putting the move itself over so the match returns in the ring and uh, Page gains control with the flying crossbody and he also connects with the flying elbow. Uh, you know, Page, he understands that now, you know, he he's kind of got Daniel Bryan when he, where he wants him. Uh, he's worked him on the outside a little bit and uh, kind of beat him up and stuff. Uh, he's hit some big moves on him. Uh, it's, you know, only a matter of time before he hits him with that big lariat and, you know, he can go home with his belt, you know. Uh, but he hits the uh, flying elbow and now this is Paige's real big chance to capitalize, uh, but they uh, end up going outside and uh, Brian Danielson throws uh, Paige into the uh, steel steps. Uh, so now, um, Paige is busted wide open, uh, 
he's sitting there with a wound and he's bleeding pretty good and uh, they go to the commercial break um, so I believe this was the first commercial break that they that they took um, the time it seemed to buy but seemed to be going by pretty fast in this match um, both participants were, were uh, going pretty hard and pretty fast. Um, they weren't going at a uh, slower wrestling, uh, you know, competitive sport, sporting pace. They were really uh, trying to hurt each other. Uh, you know, that's kind of like what the last match was um, to me was like a wrestling, a good great wrestling match um this was kind of the opposite um this was like you know all right let's go out there and let's just totally beat the hell out of each other you know for 60 minutes you know let's break some tables and uh do some moonsaults off the top rope onto the floor and you know that kind of thing but um they get back from the break and uh, the action returns back in the ring and there's uh, uh, repeated head headbutts by Daniel Bryan or Daniel Bryan to Adam Page's open wound on his forehead and uh, so many headbutts in this match um, they'll end up uh, calling it later on in the match uh, because uh, Hangman will start. Um, headbutting Daniel Bryan um, later in the match as he's busted open but um, anyway uh, to this point I would have um, Bryan Danielson uh, uh, winning the match as far as the scoring uh, but the match goes on in and out of the ring and um, there's a spot on the outside and um, the move earlier that Brian Danielson was doing on the outside to uh, Paige where he would he was like pulling his shoulder into the turnbuckle repeatedly um, uh, Hangman's Paige started doing that to Brian Danielson and uh, he started doing that violently and repeatedly and um, to the point to where I guess that it busted open uh, Brian Danielson and uh, they get back in the ring and uh, they're they're both in each, each corner of the ring and uh, Hangman Adam Page is doing the uh, Brian Danielson jumping jacks in his respective corner uh, that was pretty good stuff and uh, it says that's how they went to the second break. Um, <clears throat> Daniel Bryan was in trouble and he was trying to buy time. Uh, during the picture to picture, the uh, doctors and trainers, uh, referees were trying to uh, tend to him, but he wasn't having it and he was shooing him off. So Paige goes on the outside and uh, he gives. Uh, Brian Danielson the dead eye suplex on the outside floor and it looked like a really good bump and uh, really devastating move uh, that put Daniel Bryan in trouble uh, and um, they get back in the ring and Hangman Page att attempts a uh, buckshot lariat but uh, Brian Danielson is so tired that he just collapses. So uh, Hangman Page doesn't connect with the Lariat as he's coming. Um, Brian Danielson, you know, as he's coming with the arm, Brian Danielson just falls. And they continue to wrestle. And um, then uh, Page attempts the second, his second signature buckshot Lariat. And... Uh, he misses, and uh, Brian Danielson catches him off the ropes. He's coming off the ropes with that big flying knee, and uh, he pins 
uh, Hangman, uh, he gets a two count, uh, he gets a pretty good false finish there, but, um, you know, he kind of expected Page to kick out of that one, that was, uh, maybe his first pin attempt on him, um, <clears throat> but, and then they, you know, they, then they, the whole match they've been, you know, fighting and, uh, beating the hell out of each other and like uh more power moves and um literally hundreds of headbutts um you know because they were both bleeding open up each other's wounds and um i even thought there was a moment in the match where the referee actually uh pulled open one of their wounds when they were like act acting like they were checking he, like the referee was checking one of the wrestlers, are you okay, you know, and uh, kind of pulling on his hair to, you know, open up the wound, you know, it's a little trick, but uh, anyhow, um, <clears throat> they go back to, you know, wrestling and uh, doing some chain wrestling and mat wrestling, uh, submission holds, um, and then, you know, that's basically the rest of the match uh the the it, it never really led up to a big ending uh page ends up uh attempting a third buckshot lariat but only this time brian danielson doesn't kick out uh, overall disappointment in the match um i knew that um they should probably not have the same match as they did last time and repeat it um maybe some people were expecting you know another scientific wrestling match um because you know that's that's the way brian danielson likes to dictate his matches um but uh you know 30 minute match page gets the win um Brian Danielson puts him over. Um, AEW continues to push uh, Hangman Adam Page, even though either they don't have faith in his promos or they just don't know how to fit that in their their wrestling show to talk about the match um, for the rest of the show. Uh, like I said, this went 30 minutes, um, so they had a whole hour and a half of the rest of the show to talk about what had just happened here. And like at Winter's Coming, um, they made this the first match of the evening and didn't talk about it the rest of the night. Uh, no interview with either one of the wrestlers in the back after it was done through any of the rest of the show. Um, I was only going to review this rematch here. Um, like I said, I was disappointed in the match and the the rest of the show really um, wasn't that great either. Um, uh, some notable things that happened through the show, I guess. Uh, Jade Cargill is the new TBS Women's ch Champion. Uh, she beat Ruby Soho. Um, her daughter was there in the crowd pretty good moment for her uh, I called it um, I know I didn't have this channel up and going when this tournament first started but um, I knew that this tournament was made for her to uh, her build her character and uh, she ended up uh, defeating Ruby Soho in the final to become the TBS Women's Champion. The main event on tonight's Dynamite was 
the Lucha Bros defending their AEW World Tag Team titles against Jungle Boy and Luchasaurus, and Ray Phoenix took a very gruesome bump, um, took a choke slam type move off the apron or out of the ring, you know, from Luchasaurus on on through a table and the the way he hit um i knew uh automatically you know immediately that something was wrong right off the bat i thought that uh he'd been lacerated and uh from the way the table broke i thought um the corner of the table that black piece um you know the edge piece had caught him and, you know, cut him open and like, you know, cause he wasn't getting up and then they showed him, you know, and sh showed the replay of it and his arms behind his back and, you know, uh, he's squirming, his, he's just kicking his legs, you know, calling for help, you know, he's even pointing his, pointing at it, you know, and I don't know if they called an audible or what, but um, Jungle Boy ended up getting the pin, um, and they and Jungle Boy and Luchasaurus won the AEW Tag Team Titles against the Lucha Bros as Ray Phoenix laid with his arm behind his back. I think it was his left arm. Um, it reminded me of Sid Vicious, his gruesome leg bump he took off the top rope that totally twisted his knee in half, his leg in half. Um, I'll post a video of, or I'll post a uh, link of the video in the description so you guys can check that out in slow motion. Um, wish him well, speedy recovery. I know he'll get back to what he loves doing the most. And so overall, just crazy way to end the night. Um, title change, tag team title change, at least not with the world heavyweight championship, but the AEW tag team titles changed hands. So, uh, uh, Luchasaurus and Jungle Boy are the tag team champions and uh, Luchasaurus took that bump pretty hard too and he was favoring his arm one of his arms getting back into the ring so let's hope he's not injured either you know uh, coming in as you know new tag team champions you know but uh, overall kind of put a crazy ending to uh, just kind of a weird show I thought but um, they tried um, I thought they could have done a little better with the show with the main event that they put at the very beginning that should have probably been at the very end um, shouldn't have hyped judges for the match getting us thinking you know it's the matches on tbs uh getting us thinking you know um the this dynamite is on tbs the first time you know wrestling's been on tbs in 20 some odd years and uh you know which is automatically making us think you know throwback you know, the judges are going to be throwback legends, you know, like Steamboat, Ric Flair. Um, they could have possibly tried to get anybody, you know. But, you know, the judges were fine with me, but, you know, they were kind of pointless. So they kind of dropped the ball there. Uh, once again, AEW Dynamite. They continue to focus on each segment. Um, 
rather than kind of putting a show together. Um, one good thing I saw about the show as even though Ruby Soho lost um, the, the TBS tournament to Cargill, she still got a moment where she was getting interviewed, um, you know, and Britt Baker came up with a heavyweight title talking shit and they got into it. Um, she got her ass kicked a little bit by Britt Baker, but, uh, you know, Rio came out and defended her. Um, but, um, my cat's meowing, but, um, that's a good way to end the video. Uh, so AEW Dynamite rematch, uh, Hangman Adam Page is still the AEW World Heavyweight Champion. Um, stay tuned and look for more content, uh, more contents on the way, uh, more review videos we'll be doing. Royal Rumble. Um, I may do uh, Battle of the Belts. I haven't decided yet, but um, I will let everybody know soon if I do that or not. I don't understand why the AEW World Heavyweight Championship isn't getting defended on that show, and um, I hope it's uh, longer than two or longer than one hour. I heard that it was only going to be one hour, so let's hope that it's longer than one hour let's at least get two hours i don't I haven't looked at it but whatever uh there it doesn't look like there's a heavyweight title match um could be wrong but um not sure if i'm gonna review that one or not so but definitely real rumble uh is in st louis this year and uh pretty hyped for that so we will be doing that review but also but also be on the lookout for uh, different types of content besides these types of review videos. Um, I plan on doing a 100 Greatest Wrestlers of All Time video. Um, I'm about halfway through the list. Uh, I've been working on it. Uh, I kind of took a break from it, um, but uh, I'll get back to that and try and finish that. And, um, and remember, if you like this video, please share, uh, like, and subscribe and help our channel grow. Uh, we really appreciate it, and uh, we will see you on the next one. Take care.